All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction video for today. And this time, I'm taking a look at the gameplay overview trailer for the Lord of the Rings Gollum, which is a game where you play as Gollum, obviously, and I think it's like a stealth game. I think I could be wrong. Is it from the makers of Sticks? The, the little goblin guy that you have to go around being sneaky with? I think he is a goblin, actually. Um, which is perfect because I mean, I mean, Gollum's pretty much a goblin. I mean, look at him. Um, so <laughs> look at his disgusting ass. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to this game. I I'm not too sure if I want to play it though because I'm not really into like the the games where it's only stealth. You know what I mean? I love a mixture of like stealth and action. This one is obviously just going to be stealth. It looks like. Um, but uh, I am interested in seeing more, so let's find, let's see more. This will actually be the first time I see gameplay, because uh, I think at least, I could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, let's take a look. Hi. Hey, I'm what's Harold up, man? Wheeler, producer what's at up, the man? Entertainment, and today I'm happy to reveal some exciting details about our upcoming game, The Lord of the Rings, Gollum. Gollum, Gollum, potato, potato. Okay. Gollum has always fascinated us. While being completely essential to the story written by J.R.R. Tolkien, Gollum's long chase for his precious ring has Ray never Ray been Ray told Ray. in detail. Yet his incredible journey from Mordor through Mirkwood to I'm the sure it's been told in fanfic. takes players to places they haven't seen like this before, while setting the stage for events that will ultimately decide frame the rates, fate uh... of all of Middle-earth. Gollum has pretty it's much pretty alpha. everywhere. It's pretty alpha. He's also pretty much met everywhere. And by looking at events from his angle, players will experience Middle-earth through the eyes and twisted mind of one of the most iconic characters of all time. All of that in our very own artistic style. From his time okay. in the slave pits of the Dark Tower to his stay with the elves of Mordor, Ooh, it's looking Gollum nice. creep, sneak, and trick his way past faithful, detailed environments, some of which have never been seen before in such detail. The Lord of the Rings Gollum is a cinematic stealth action adventure. I need to watch the Lord of the Rings movies again. It's been so long. It really leverages the Dalek's expertise in crafting engaging stories. Gollum is no traditional hero. He's learned not to take any sides other than his own, and some of the most powerful beings in Middle-earth Is Andy Serkis voicing him? I don't think he is. In the game, you will meet some iconic characters, I think we already know that. but also interesting personalities less known to players, but nonetheless essential to the events unfolding. We've been highly faithful like Master to the Chief. descriptions and Yo, movies. Master Chief shows up. For instance, the Moth of Sauron, the Lieutenant of Barad-dûr, <laughs> is guy. constantly scheming on behalf hey. of the In the game, <laughs> we will see his face for the first time. But also Thranduil, King of the Elves Whoa. of Mirkwood, oh. Father of Legolas. And yeah, last uh, but not least, uh, who, Gandalf. Yeah, the wow. Oh, Gandalf We're looks pretty cool. He looks more like the the amazing project. The and um, can't wait to show you more. the the Stay animated movie Gandalf a little bit, which I'm sure is based on like artwork from the original too. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe maybe it's not from the. I can't remember who made Sticks, but uh, I thought they would mention Sticks in there. But I guess Sticks is not the biggest. Uh, can finally play a crackhead's life story. See, I wish they just said that, honestly. Um, yeah, the gameplay seems a little raw. It's probably not coming until sometime next year, right? Did it say that? Yeah, fall 2022. Wow, holy shit. Damn. That's, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. Um, so probably still in there almost a year and a half until that's out. Wow, okay. Well, I guess not, like a little over a year, really. But, uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, what they showed was cool. It looked pretty nice. Uh, the character models look great. I really like, um, this is, uh, what's his name from, uh, I never read the books, by the way. Um, from The Hobbit. Uh, who played him again? Shit, we've seen him before, anyway. Um, and then, yeah. So, uh, Data Look Entertainment. Eh, I'll look it up later. Hey, anyway, it's coming to Switch, too. Look at that. Um, anyway, there you go. That is that. Uh, it looks good. It just looks looks rough right now um i'm assuming they just don't have any voice acting ready now I, I thought it would be out like early next year i didn't think it was gonna be late next year um but uh because i remember they announced this like what two years ago at this point was it two years ago or was it like early last year i remember whenever i did the trailer reaction i don't know um because i watched the first trailer and i was like oh cool um that might have been early last year but whatever anyway it, it looks like it could be good they just need a you know, 
really uh, enhance it a little bit. A little bit, a lot of it, really. Um, but uh, there you go. That's that. The Lord of the Rings Gollum sounds interesting, especially if you. I feel like if you watch the movies before, and you're already accustomed to all environments, or you read the books, I guess it might even be more based around the books. Um, and then you play this. Uh, it'd be kind of cool being able to go through all those environments, like the guy said. Like the, he, he's t pretty much met everybody, so it's like it'd be cool to see all these characters now. Um, anyway, there you go. That's it. Bye.